Good evening, folks. Now, what brings Indy Truck Davy stroke one of the two Davies to your screen tonight? Apart from the fine weather outside. Well, the image is on the screen. Apparently, Food Scotland have said that it's okay for journalists to make predictions on the outcome of the investigation into SMP finances. But apparently, it's not okay for social media users to do the same thing. So it would appear that the National Union of Journalists, uh, the National Union of Journalists and Register of Journalists will be allowed to talk about um, predicted outcomes. And they keep talking about um, that we're not allowed to talk about the substance of the case as the Crown Office looks into the SNP finances. What's interesting is, I've just put a wee meme up for a friend in England. And the friend in England saying, 21 billion quid of fraud over the last three years in Westminster. Yet they send in the, the English government sends the National Crime Agency to Scotland to investigate SNP finances because of a certain Sean Clerkin. A man that didn't understand a feckin' thing about the P-E-F-F-E-R before he made the complaint. But it was a convenient complaint. An absolutely convenient, a, a convenient complaint. I began to think this guy's a plant. But anyway, I think Sean Clerkin is a plant. Some of the stunts he's pulled have been repulsive, like England out of Scotland, or English out of Scotland. He appears to be a wee racist. Anyway, he's over the press today. Man who made complaint. Man who made complaint. I doubt that Clerkin has ever read the PEFFER rules on how parties spend their money. But Sean's always been a bit of a halfwit. He's always been a bit of a stunts man. You know. Stone at Edinburgh Ed, Airport with a big banner saying England out of Scotland. Stone in Central Station with a big banner England out of Scotland. What a banner. Nice. And by the way, when I said to him yeah. that, uh, that he was out of order, he threatened me. He, he didn't threaten me, he challenged me. But he is out of order. He's not even a party member. Why would a non-party member make complaints about a party spends our money? Money that we freely give. But anyway, let's get back to the point. Apparently journalists are allowed to make predictions of the outcome of this investigation, whereas we, on social media, are not. Please call them. I'm not a journalist. You're welcome to come and talk to me. You're welcome to come and arrest me. I will make comments. Shoo shoo. I will make comments on this uh, investigation. I will make comments on the rules and how political parties spend their money. Whether you like it or no. And I will ask Police Scotland, the same as my friend David Millian did. Why haven't you shit and got off the pan yet? You've been at it for two and two years. Two years. Please call on. Here's a challenge. When we talk about actual fraud and actual crimes, we know from the National Statistics Office, UK wide, that 21 billion quid has been defrauded for government part departments in Westminster. Get your ass down that road and start investigating that police Scotland. Here is an official complaint from a citizen of the UK. The government has allowed £21 billion of fraud of their money 
to go under the radar. No investigation. I challenge Police Scotland to get down to that House of Parliament and start digging and find out where their 21 billion quid of money has gone. 21 billion quid of Welsh, Northern Irish, Scottish and English taxpayers' money. Police Scotland, go investigate that. Banners, rather than us giving our money to a political party and that political party spending our money and advancing the cause for independence. Anyway, David, just come on for a wee rant tonight. Enjoy the rest of your evening. It might be the sun and the heat that's making me rant. But when I see things like this on social media and I see clerking being bummed up as some sort of activist in the press, when what he is is nothing more than a disgusting little racist who hates the English. Sean, I'll see you in court. I've got more fucking money than you, Sparrow. Have a good evening. <laughs>